Hey babe, can I have some water please? Sure. You've been going at it for a while. Shouldn't you leave it for the night? It's also getting really annoying. Sorry. But you had your headphones on. I'm keeping you playing games. Well, you're not having any fun with me. Well, that's not true, okay? Just I can get these drawers done so we can take it to the new place. Why don't we just get something new? Wouldn't have to sand it for five days. Okay, and then it just wouldn't have a story to tell, right? This piece is pretty charismatic. Okay, it's amazing that Mary's kept in such great condition considering it's been in her home for like 50 years. Yeah, it's unbelievable. Nothing lasts for 50 years these days. I'm actually pretty excited to see her tomorrow. Just asked if I can take some photos of her. Can you pass me some sandpaper? Jake. What? I'm talking to you. Are you? What's that supposed to mean? Nothing. What's wrong? Nothing. So you're going to take photos of old Gran. How much is she paying you? She offered to pay me, but I just want to do something nice for her. You've met this woman literally once in your entire life. She already sold you this shitty cabinet. Aren't you wasting your time? She's moving to a nursing home soon. I think she just wants someone to talk to. Besides, I'm not doing anything tomorrow anyway. What about my headshot? She said you helped me with that months ago. You said you weren't happy with your current oh hair color. God, you don't even care. Why does everything have to be about you? About me? We're moving to a new apartment because that's what you want. I got a second job because you wanted me to. We got the shitty cabinet because it's something you wanted. This whole relationship is about you. Oh, we're in her late 20s, Jacob. Okay? I'm not going to sit in a shit apartment and not worry about her future forever. I'm in my mid-20s. No, I don't want to think about my future. I want to live my life now. I feel so suffocated by your unrealistic expectations. It makes me feel fucking sick. Sweetie, it's not as if I've got anything too much planned these days. How have you been? Well, I've sold some more furniture since you picked up the chest of drawers the other day. You young people seem to like that old style. I don't know about all of us, I guess, but certainly count me in. That's really great about the sales. I've actually made some really great progress on the drawers. It's looking really good. I'm surprised you and your husband kept in such good condition. Well. When Vin was alive, of course, he was so handy around the house. He was always fixing things, but since he passed, well, things have been a bit neglected. That reminds me, actually, um, I found something for you. Oh, I haven't seen that for such a long time. Where did you find it? It's hiding in one of the drawers. <laughs> Vin gave this to me for our fifth wedding anniversary with the chest of drawers. That stands for wood, did you know? Oh, that's so romantic. <laughs> mm. We were married for 60 years. Oh, sorry. Oh. You just look really beautiful in that moment. Oh, that's okay, sweetheart. I mean, that's what we're here to do, isn't it? Um, is to take some photos. Um, shall we get started? Yeah. What would you like me to do? That was so much fun. <laughs> Thank you. Yeah. There we go. Oh. oh. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, look. Oh, that's so nice. That one's my favourite. Oh. Well, Vin and I didn't have any photos taken until our wedding day. We had some professional ones taken. Were you in a long, beautiful white <laughs> gown? Yes. Oh, I was so happy and content. Love. 
Do you mind reading the letter for me, please? I'd love to. <laughs> Dear Mary, happy fifth anniversary. And I know deeply that you are as excited as I am about our future. Five months ago, you told me I was going to be a father. Initially, I was scared, but knowing you and I would bring the baby into our family was the best thing that ever happened to me. This wooden chest of drawers I give to you for our fifth anniversary. Traditionally, people give each other wooden gifts to symbolize eternal strength in marriage. I feel that I've used up all my luck. Every day I wake next to you. I can't wait to spend the rest of our lives this way. When time gets hard, I always think of you. I remember when first moving into our home, I was defeated because I couldn't afford somewhere better than this old single front cottage that is falling apart. But you didn't complain. You just made this small place into our home. And that's the magic of you. Everything you touch suddenly is better. It is easier to fall in love with something shiny and someone new. But it is hard to turn what's right in front of you into treasure. It's so clear to me now, I wouldn't want to miss any of it. If we are lucky enough to live long lives, I hope we can both say we had a life worth living together. I hope this gift will remind you of my love you can have this chest of drawers by your bedside to keep all your adorable secrets and treasures. Just like I will keep your love in my chest every day, close to my heart. It was so beautiful. Thank you. To have what you and Vin had is such a blessing. <laughs> Nowadays, people just give up when it gets hard. <sighs> yes, but you must be wise when you pick. Not everyone you lose is a loss. I mean, a life might seem like a long time, but it's not long enough to be wasted on people who do not resonate with the best part of you. I wish I could take a photo of you and Vin together. <laughs> <laughs> oh, when Vin passed, we had to use our wedding photo for his memorial picture. And it just looked so odd because he was so young. And that's why I wanted you to take photos of me today because I want people to see a photo that I like when it's my time to go. Oh. And make sure they're extra lovely for you. <laughs> but I hope you don't need to use them anytime soon. Well, I don't have very much to look forward to when I wake up in the morning anymore. I so want to be with Finn. I hope it's my time soon. But don't worry, darling. I've had a wonderful life. Just a minute. <laughs> <laughs> wait, wait, wait. Fuck me. Nah, I'm sick of this. Yeah, I gotta go. I'll talk to you soon. Yeah, bye. You got donuts again. Okay. Said you wanted them a few days ago. Thanks. Where have you been? We're taking photos with Mary today. It's actually a really great day. I was reading this. Letter. I don't want to hear about it. So I can't handle another story about Gran. What? I don't want to hear about Mary. Why are you upset? I'm not upset. What did you do today? Nothing, just play video games. It's actually so frustrating. 
I need to get the new PlayStation when I get paid. Kev's got his already. Okay, so why do you put your shit on the cabinet, okay? It's all violent and now it's ruined. And I'm so dramatic. It looks like shit. Honestly, you have no respect for anyone else's work. So sick of all this granny fetish bullshit. We both know this belongs in the trash. Don't worry about it. Oh, okay, so it's good enough for Mary and Vin for 50 years, but it's not good enough for you? Okay, you're so sport and have no gratitude for anything. You're so much better and more sophisticated than everybody else, don't you? Nothing is good enough for you, is it, Jacob? You just want what's the best and the newest. And meanwhile, you just have a shitty dead end job and you do nothing useful with your life. Do you think what fixing up this cabinet is gonna make you, what, an artist? You're gonna be the same broke, narcissistic bitch you've always been. I believe this is the last of your stuff from your old place. Uh, thank you so much. You're a lifesaver. Did Jacob give you a hard time? No, he's just playing video games. Classic. Okay. Today's the day. I'm gonna go to Mary's. Show her the photos in the cabinet. Oh, I hope she likes it. She will. Off you go. I'll see you later. I'm Chloe. Is Mary here? Hey, Chloe. You came by a few weeks back and got Mum's drawers. That's right. I've actually taken some photos of her too. And I finished the drawers. So I was wondering if she was here because I'd really like to show her. Yeah. Thanks for the photos. <laughs> you okay? Yeah, yeah. Mum passed away a few days ago in her sleep. Sorry. Thank you for these photos. She's beautiful. She is. <laughs> 